More than 60 million years ago, shifts in the Earth's crust caused a river in the southern reaches of the Great Rift Valley to erode a deep gorge along its western escarpment, and, at the edge of the plateau across which the Upper Zambezi flows, the Victoria Falls were formed. At 2,500 kilometers, the Zambezi is the fourth longest river in Africa and forms the natural northern border between Zimbabwe and Zambia. About an hour's drive on the main highway from Kariba towards the Zambian border, the road suddenly drops hundreds of meters, winding down into the Zambezi Valley, a vast open floodplain with the river glinting off in the distance. The temperature shoots up a few degrees, and through the heat haze, one can just make out the mountains rising up on the other side of the valley in Zambia. This spectacular river is at its widest at the World Heritage Site of Mana Pools in Zimbabwe. The depth of the river can reach 30 meters in the gorges to as little as 150 centimeters in the floodplain, although there is always a deep water channel. There are lots of islands, reeds and sandbanks on the river, a perfect habitat for the prolific bird life and ideal camping spots for canoeists. Manapool's National Park is a wildlife conservation area situated along 80 kilometers of the Zambezi River, where the floodplain turns into a broad expanse of pools after each rainy season. As the pools gradually dry up and recede, the region attracts many large animals in search of water, making it one of Africa's most renowned game viewing areas. Mana Pools is one of the least developed parks in Southern Africa and is consistently rated in the top 10 of Africa's national parks, making for one of the best wilderness experiences in the region. Only non-invasive, zero-impact tourism is allowed. There are no permanent or unnatural structures, generators or electric fences associated with safari camps, as these are not permitted in the park. You'll never imagine it until you get here and experience it for yourself. It's something that you can't, you can't paint a picture, take a photograph, Write it down, you have to feel it, otherwise you'll miss that sixth sense which you can't actually describe. But for me it just it just makes you feel alive, like and not that many things do that really make you feel just alive. It's just perfect. And every time you leave you just count the days till you can find a reason to come back again. Minor Pools has Zimbabwe's biggest concentration of hippos, crocodiles and large dry season mammal populations of elephant and buffalo and encompasses some of Africa's largest areas of acacia and mahogany woodland, combined with spectacular full canopy Mapani forest. Wildlife is abundant in the valley, especially from the beginning of winter in June through to the end of October before the rains start. And many animals will be seen on every trip, most commonly impala, waterbuck, hippo, crocodiles, elephant and buffalo. Animals such as lion and leopard are also present, and one of the largest populations of painted hunting dogs is found in minor pools. The park is also home to a profusion of bird life, which will delight even the most amateur of bird watchers, as over 400 species of birds have been recorded in minor pools. Natureways is an owner-run canoe safari company that has some of the best guides in the country. The company has a long history in the Zambezi Valley and especially in minor pools with over 20 years experience on the river. They offer canoe safaris on the lower Zambezi River as well as classic tented safaris in minor pools, thus enabling Natureways to provide unique wilderness experiences, whether in canoes, on foot or from a vehicle. Natureways runs several different canoe safaris on the river, ranging from two nights to ten nights, with one option being the Explorer Canoe Safari, which are expeditionary styled, meaning all equipment is carried on the canoes, and guests camp on islands each night, ensuring complete exclusivity and a true river experience. A typical canoe trip would be a 75km four-day safari from Chirundu to Mana Pools, using 5-metre Canadian-style fiberglass canoes 
and led by two highly qualified and experienced river guides. These guides have extensive knowledge of the river system, wildlife, trees and birds and are fully trained to cope with a myriad of situations. Many have been trained by the Natureways Canoe Guide School based in Kariba that demands the highest standards and commitment. Guests can paddle their own canoes, erect tents at the end of the day and generally pitch in and help as much as they like, although the guides are fully geared and enthusiastic to operate all aspects of the trip. Before we came from uh, Sydney, we were telling people we're going to Zimbabwe, we're going to be going to on safari in Manapools and stuff like that. People were like, you're going to Zimbabwe? You crazy? You crazy? I mean, I think people should come to Zimbabwe. It's just a beautiful country now. Despite the problems that we're having, I think um, it's just a phase that we're going through. This will pass them. It's just a great country. People should come. A typical day starts with an early wake up with tea or coffee, then the gear is packed up and it's onto the river for a paddle for an hour or two in the cool morning breeze, followed by a short stop on a scenic sandbar. The guides manage to whip up a full English breakfast in next to no time, which seems a little surreal considering this is on an island in the middle of the Zambezi River. After breakfast there's more paddling until lunchtime, when you pull up for a light meal and cold drinks, followed by a well-earned siesta or perhaps a spot of fishing. Every day is different and the paddling times are dictated not by a watch but by the exciting and memorable encounters with wildlife along the way, which can be admired from the incredible vantage point on the river, either in small dreamy channels or in the wide open space of the Zambezi. Approaching an elephant is always exciting. There's a buzz of apprehension in the group, but the guides give confidence to move closer, carefully reading the elephant's body language. Spending quiet time close to one of these incredible animals, when they are aware but relaxed in your presence, is an experience second to none. Final paddle to the next island to set up camp for the night and enjoy the breathtaking sunset on the Zambezi, with a cold drink in hand and a hot meal on the way. This rounds off a unique day on the river, as you settle in to enjoy the sounds of the African bush by dark. Natureways truly brings to its guests an unparalleled experience of the African wilderness that is only achieved through an incredible love for the bush, the expansive knowledge of the guides and strong conservation ethics. Natureways makes the Lower Zambezi accessible to everybody who has a passion for adventure, whether a first-time explorer to Africa or a seasoned traveler. Experience the Zambezi with Natureways and take home a lifetime of memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah.